hello viewers and subscribers welcome once again to my new screencast uh, i already talk about detail about the implementation angular and typescript based uh, web web development i mean the font and development my last screencast was 35.1 up to 35.45 that that's one of the reason why i i make today's a new um, new screencast series of the screencast because the lot of the viewers uh, and and subscriber asking me how the 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 last screencast was based on the based on the uh, the 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 geo functionality based on the open layers libraries and that's why the lot of subscriber and viewers says how can they use the leaplet libraries for 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 the for the for the for the geo functionalities but other part of the of the application like the, you all the all the form the crude operations for the registration process all things will be still the same as it as it is but they would like to see how the how the angular and typescript and node.js uh, integrate the leaflet uh, javascript and uh, map libraries and then they can they have the possibility to see how the integration between the and the open layers libraries how it works and then leaflet libraries that's the how they it, it, it works together and that's why i'm trying to give it to the two to 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 two screencast and then the everybody the all the viewers and subscribe you understand how the two different uh, map libraries work together uh, in the same uh, not to work together it's, it's you can integrate the both libraries uh, not as parallelly or you can choose one of them which one is the best choice for you for the previous one this you can look for uh, the previous screencast i will show you where it is is located how the functionalities look like but you can look for the my channels uh, screencast number 30 35 up to 30 45 then look for that one if you, if you look for this one this is the screencast number um, 35 dot something uh, one dot is something this is the complete applications that's i last screencast i already recorded i already published those screencast if you look for this there is a language translation is there uh, is it uh, the application is so you see that the forms and then then you get the you can have the possibility to digitize the vectors the your polygons or, or lines what you need and then you need a line string maybe you can draw the line string even though you can go to the points and put to need it the points and circles all things together it's possible and that's this is the screencast number this is the completely based on the uh, the open layer libraries to map integrations and then this is the normal the HTML the uh, at Angular TypeScript Angular TypeScript based um, yeah, reactive forms and this is the forms I already built it and then now the last the screencast number thirty six there is a there is a continuation the screencast there is a series of the the, the videos how can you implement the the REST APIs for, for these operations to do this this is the coming later part of the sections so this is the User role registration, there is no forms. You then user plot registration. You see that a lot of the, the the forms and there is a map functionality is coming soon. And this is the you know the forms for buildings registration, floor registration, unit registration, and this is the one of the maps from the Azure server. And if you go this here, maybe here, so you see that this is the, all the data coming from the from the Azure server. You see the geo server is here running you see that all the all the service definitions and this geo server all the things together i will explain a little bit later this is the old activation why they are the user asking me why uh, this is the open layer that they, they try to replace the open layer with the deplet that's why i'm trying to make a new screencast today how can you replace this uh, the the geo part with the leaflet not the open open layers for my case i will continue the open layers but you can continue with if the depending your company choice or your choice which library you try to integrate but i will give it to you uh, how from from very beginning to the installation to the uh, to the to the complete application level if you look this application this is the application that's i am uh, based on the uh, based on the 
uh, leaflet uh, JavaScript libraries. So if you see the the pictures like here, the all the 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 maps and the, or, or geo data sets coming from the geo server i already uh, uh, configured the geo server with my applications and then uh, call the uh, call the the geo wms service and to the to build these pages and i will show you detail when i start the developments uh, for the but just get you get the overview how i mean what i mean how can you call how can you integrate the leaflets um, javascript libraries into the angular and typescript and node.js and even though and and the possibility the last one the possibility how can you integrate the node.js node angular and typescript plus the open layers that's the possibility if you look for this one so this is our calls in the in the in the in the in the in the geo server you have to configure this all things to in the, in the geo server and call these libraries uh, call these services in the in, in into the your, your web pages and then it works automatically it's, it's a really really user efficient way to handle if you need a really good caching issue issues you can do also the caching part that's you 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 want to do this is depending uh, was the efficiency you can check it everything in the geo server so you see the game impression like this one here the the real maps how i call the from the geo server to the to the my applications so go back to the this this application so you see the impression how the how the how the uh, leaflet works and then uh, and how the um, geo server works this is the same things same is work as it is what we expected but in the depending on the on the on the libraries uh, you, you have to be only the the the, the how can I say only the uh, the syntax changes is nothing special but little bit changes and then you can you can use the both libraries depending your choice so let's go to the presentation part where i have additional one so that means this is the our this is the, the new screencast number two or two dot one up to out i don't know how many screencasts i needed to complete the complete um, complete development so you see the node.js angular typescript leaflet and geo server web web map and web js this is only for the geo part but you can combine the non-geo part all registration forms for building flow registration but that's the expectation from the from the many viewers and subscribers asking me to give it to them the possibility how can they replace the the open layers with the replet uh, leaflet javascript library that's the idea uh, me behind the scene because the last screencast there's a everything is discussed and dis described and it's developed already so the 35.1 up to 345 there's everything is developed implemented so you see that the, the same pictures in the geo server you see the the geo server configuration you need to configure this server and then generate the your map services this is the backend server post gis databases in here you can call it postgs database in backend machines and build a postgs databases and a respective uh, everything here so you see that the installation project structure is a very simple installations you have to install the node.js very fast very simple command and, and then you have to install the angular cli and then you have to build very simple ng new your project names and then you have to be cd to to go to the projects and then the additional installation like npm install uh, into a leaflet mm, that's everything here so if you, if i go to the if i go to the go to the my the implementation stage you can see the commands i i, I believe it is, is a command. so you see the the commands uh, i already installed the, the node.js in the say, command server if you go there I will do a little bit bigger. So you see the all commands. You can make build the, all the installations, and then uh, you can build the components, and then you can the services and what you need, and the components, and then you can start the. And this is the command for the your starting the Angular leaflets uh, extra libraries. But it it is it is okay. And leaflet one installations, and then leaflet types. Yeah, maybe the 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 